Hi Eric here, great news today. I have to change my cap to this one because we have some very hot information from Ferro to a new laser imagery scanner and all what you have to know to this new device is in this show. What is the new stuff? The new stuff is the new Faro Blink Imaging Laser Scanner. But before we started, I don't know if my Faro cap, I don't know if it's the actual one, if anybody's here from Faro, if you have a newer cap, you please send it to me so that I maybe have a newest version, like the new laser scanner where we started right now. Here we have the picture from the new scanner. It's definitely a complete new concept and here's a very nice option to see it in 3D. So here we have it. You see on the left side, we have a laser scanner head. Uh, for people there, maybe from the market there, maybe can imagine what we have. It is uh, in, uh, we can click here on the button, is the scanning head, uh, what is uh, actually in HSI scanner, what is the inside, but this is uh, end calibrated system. So, and there's um, some calibration on the original one and this allows us to have a much better outcome as the basic uh, sensor head. And then we have here, that is very interesting, is a dual camera uh, unit. And this allows you to make a pano image with 50 megabytes. And then additional ones, I think we have here a fan. Uh, here's the mounting plate, but it's a different one. It's not fitting on the ferro ones. I think it's a little bit other ones. And then we have here, um, it's also something to bring the heat out. I think there is a lot of heat production inside. And what is very important, we have here the battery pack or the battery compartment. And there you can fit your standard batteries from Faro Focus inside. And this is the, I think the, the power button. And then we have here the battery status and we have an USB-C to converting the data. And we have an LED ring status indicator. That's all what you have to know. It's super simple. It's definitely easier as a digital camera. And that is the basic idea. The name Blink coming from the English uh, naming into the Blink. I think this means uh, doing something as quickly in your hand movement. Some, so that's what we found out it is, means in German. So, and uh, this means that uh, make it um, high speed and sim simple. That's uh, um, the idea. And the idea is you don't have to choose different scan resolution. You have only one scan resolution. You can do a scan in 30 seconds and you have a scan and also this high resolution Pano picture. It's one static scan. And if you move it, the scanner used the SLAM technology to track your position and you make the next scan. And afterwards, with the tracking by the SLAM system, you have a pre-registration of all your scans and then you can use, then you can put all scans together and bring it in the cloud and make a registration in the cloud. They use for them the Ferro XG platform, technology platform. Or if you don't have an internet connection, you are also able to use it on uh, the desktop version. Um, and then you can uh, do it locally. That's uh, their main work workflows. For the tracking, they make it easily for you. I think they have also an LED that shows you the quality of your tracking. So it's, uh, and this is a, like a quality indicator before. Yeah, and uh, I think it's more or less uh, say it is something uh, what definitely hit a new target group. Uh, I think it's hitting more the mainstream users. You don't have to be a total scanning expert to use it. It's so simple that many people can use it. I think that's something new and that's definitely something new on the market what nobody done before in this simplicity like we have it here. So. Um, Maybe go with something to the uh, features. What I say here, you get in like a guided scanning real-time feedback. You have an uh, um, imaging laser scanner accuracy, what tells you what I say your 50 megapixel imagery and up to four millimeter accuracy for your scanning unit. Uh, then you can use it on the Sphere XG and can share the data with clients and you have this automatic point cloud processing and application. It's uh, progressing tracking for project manager, uh, on-site issue resolution for superintendents. We have an option for um, BIM managers and facility managers. Uh, you, this is also an option for service provider if you want to do something quickly and easy. And it's definitely a system for public safety. That's the, the main application. I think that's uh, in summary all what you have to know in the beginning. And I can show you something uh, where we 
uh, interesting because I have also a point cloud. So that is the point cloud what uh, people in our company does uh, during the dealer training with a prefab system. And here you can see what you can expect. So you see that this is a super good picture. You can see it here on the van. Uh, you get it really high resolution and it's not in scene now we have an LIS file here in Cloud Compare inside so you see it's a very good uh, quality of the colorization from the point cloud here on, on this item so that's uh, what you can expect from the scanner from the data quality for many applications is this a very good data results and definitely open the scanning marking to new user group they can now like such result everybody can uh, generate you don't have to be a scanning expert. I think you can take something out from the first class, put in the scanner in, in the hand and let them do, and they will have such results. So what maybe even before was only uh, able to achieve from scanning expert. And in the end, uh, let us have a look on the specification. <clears throat> so the system comes with a one year warranty. Uh, you can get uh, uh, this uh, mobility kit, which provides you a quick mount, a backpack, a quad lock, phone mount, and uh, yeah, and this uh, delivered the best mobility and efficiency. Uh, data acquisition, what I say, more or less 30 seconds. Um, point accuracy is four millimeters and 10 and, uh, and ten meters. And uh, you have a fully automatic leveling. This means you have a leveling sensor in byte, which has 0.3 millimeter over one meter. And uh, you have the camera unit is uh, two 25 megapixels resolution. And uh, I think at total they're talking then about 50 megapixels. Scanning head is a laser class one. We have a 300 to 360 degrees horizontal. Uh, and we have a range from 0 0.5 to 80 meters. And you have up to 50 million per points. And I think this is an SI 16 channel scanner working inside. Operation, one, one button operation, uh, real time uh, positioning, tracking, uh, as I said, uh, you can Use the stream app, I think that's new to, for you. And data processing, uh, you can store internally 1,500 scans, uh, then you can connect this by Wi-Fi or USB-C. You can use uh, scene software or the cloud software, for scene x year, and you can use the batteries uh, and typical three hours. And then the dimension from the system is 280 millimeters to 115 to 225 millimeters and the weight is 0 0.7 kilograms and operation that's maybe interesting is plus 5 degrees to 40 degrees and storage is minus 10 to plus 60 and it's an IP54 system so you have all to know and if you like what you're seeing don't uh, leave a comment what you're thinking to the new scanner subscribe to the channel if you like or like, give me a thumbs up if you like this presentation you know uh, we have to grow the channel uh, and uh, many thanks to watching this video bye bye Eric